Hey guys, this is Robbie. If uh, you've been watching some of my recent videos, you know that I've been looking for a keyboard to replace my old Genius keyboard, which you can see all of the modifications that I had to do to to quiet it down, but with no success. It also had a very long travel, and this slowed me down while typing. My best typing speed was done on my laptop, which is a Lenovo laptop, and a short travel, legendary keyboard, as most people know. So after looking for so many keyboards and just being constantly disappointed, I decided to go to the source, so to Lenovo. This is a Lenovo Calliope keyboard, and you can see from the box here, Lenovo USB keyboard, Calliope, and those are the model numbers. It was supposed to mimic the ThinkPads keyboard, and I said, okay, I found it on one of uh, our used product website. It was basically new, but for just si under six euros. Most uh, people sell what they get from their job or their companies uh, unopened on that website. And so I usually stalk such websites when I'm looking for, for cheap stuff new. And um, my intention was to see after reading so many reviews of how bad it is compared to, let's say, a ThinkPad keyboard, how bad could Lenovo mess this up? So I said, okay, for five bucks, I will buy this keyboard and what do I have to lose? So I, brought, I bought it, I came back home, I did a typing test on 10 fast fingers and got 64 words per minute, which is the fastest that I have ever typed. I was so impressed and I wanted to jump on to make a, a review that basically was going to be a praise of uh, this keyboard. But I decided to stick it out and uh, just use it for a bit much longer. And the, more, the longer I use it, the more disappointment I get, although it's still one of the better options that I've tried um, recently. Okay, so just a quick comparison now between Lenovo Calli Calliope external keyboard, a Lenovo G510 laptop keyboard, a ThinkPad T490 keyboard, just for sound, okay? So let's go. Do you hear that cheap plastic scrape? There is a way to type um, quietly on the keyboard. Okay, so let's go to the G510. This is a five-year-old keyboard, so still performs great, though. T490. Lenovo Calliope, you hear that plastic? G510. If you're going to be interested in this keyboard, you may think, oh, it's going to be exactly like the ThinkPad or similar. Now you know the difference. This has a plastic key. Type in uh, experience. 
overall the build is it's a beautiful keyboard guys it's it's beautiful it's you can see it basically it's uh you can see how it tapers down and unlike a keyboard like the genius that gets basically caught basically gets caught at this uh, edge here and your fingers are always resting on this this is tapered down beautifully you can see that because of the sharp edges I had to put some form on the um, spacebar because it just kept uh, getting my fingers hurt just typing pressing the spacebar so beautiful beautiful keyboard the material if you compare maybe to the to the ThinkPad T490 you can see the rough can you see it you can see this rough surface on both the keys and the um, keyboard body and this it's a fingerprint rejector <laughs> so beautiful exactly not exactly but uh, this is the same material that the T490 you can see that's a rough surface it's a fingerprint rejector unlike uh, the five-year-old Lenovo which has it on this side but on the keyboard not too much and you can see for this reason the round uh, shiny reflective surface of keys that I've pressed multiple times until they've worn off so build quality it's beautiful it's great I have no problems with the fact that this is a little bit uh, shrink down compared to traditional three la um, keys layer. Uh, no, it's, it's it's intuitive. Big delete button, page up, page down, home, end. Now uh, the func the function keys are priority so f1 f2 f3 and so on are the first buttons you will press if you press without any touching anything else so that's good for me because i always use those functions button more to get the secondary functions down here you have to hold down the function button but interesting enough uh, not all of them are supported you will have to let me show you on the computer you will have to download a specific software that um, is called Lenovo Calliope. It is. So you have to download the Lenovo Calliope software, and this enables you to have those extra um, extra keys. But just mute, unmute, launch system settings, uh, no support on F lock, on a Note F10, and uh, lock the computer. This these work. So. <laughs> These three buttons, mute, does not work, doesn't work, this works. You can see on the computer here, yeah. this don't work, this works, it brings up the charms. Snip, it works. Lock the computer, works. As you can see. So this is was my first big disappointment because I was thinking I was going to be able to increase or reduce the volume, but well, that doesn't really matter because I've used software to um, bind the scroll lock and uh, uh, pause and break buttons to be volume up and down. I'm going to press that now and you will see. Can you see? So this is what I, I did and it's a setting that I did from my previous uh, Genius keyboard that didn't have a dedicated volume buttons. First disappointment, not all of these sub-functions work, but maybe there is software out there that I, I'm just missing, but the official Lenovo software doesn't support these. Next thing I don't like is that 
the keys not just the plastic for you but there is no bounce back there is no force that pushes your fingers back to enable you to rebound onto the next and this is what can actually improve your typing speed when you've pressed down and as you're releasing your fingers force the key helps you to bounce back up onto the next when you're typing very fast you're basically responsible for pressing down lifting up with your own strength to go to the next and that's quite uncomfortable and just it, it, this is exactly what reflects uh, the cheapness of this uh, keyboard and what people complained about when they compared it to let's say the ThinkPad. Aside from those two major uh, problems so the noise, the plastic feel which is not that bad if you compare let's say for example this and this is just a 10 box genius uh, slimline keyboard so if you like uh, some mechanical sound for under 10 bucks you may like this so you compare that to this it's much much quieter much much better but it's just that uh, lack of uh, tactile feel and rebound uh, space bar is beautiful you, you're not going to get uh, injured or soreness around here by constantly using it because of the rounded tapered end here it has a number lock led light and the caps lock led light so that's good now let's go on to the measurement 42 and a half centimeters around 16 and a half inches length around 6 inches uh, from top to bottom 15 centimeters the height with the feet down so basically just the height of the stuff itself is around 2 centimeters or 0 0.75 inches the feet extend the height and open this way not this way so I find out sometimes when, when I'm moving on my when I want to move the keyboard side to side on my mouse pad which is a huge desk mouse pad sometimes one of the feet uh, close so let's see what height is going to increase the stuff the keyboard to so it increases it to one inch and uh, 25 centimeter uh, 25 millimeters or 2.5 centimeters the travel on the key is around 2 to 3 millimeters So not too much. For me, it's uh, it's 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 okay. It's all right. So in conclusion, it's it, it's quite a good keyboard. If you're just looking to get into the Lenovo style of uh, keyboard, uh, considering the build quality is very nice, maybe I I won't have a problem looking into the more expensive variant. And uh, if I can find a good keyboard in this style with a good rebound on the keys, then actually I would take that over the Logitech Craft any day of the week. Um, it's just a very well built keyboard with um, a less than satisfactory typing experience. But if you have uh, this uh, brand of keyboards, maybe the more expensive versions with the no cable, the wireless versions for business, then please put in the comments below 
how you feel and if they are a bit better. I will be looking into those. And uh, for now, I'm I'm okay with this. It wasn't that bad of a of a buy. Okay. I hope this video helps. If you're if we're looking at such keyboards, um, the goal of my videos is is not to make flashy stuff with nice music backgrounds. I know uh, a lot of people find them boring, but I intend to uh, make you feel exactly what I'm feeling holding the keyboard. And this is why I go into very specific detail about them. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.